bigger moments that happened before President Obama reached Baxter Arena and met with a teacher. This happened in her neighborhood, right in her living room in Papillion. And Lena Tillette is live with the story. Yeah, Joe and Mallory, Obama ha madness today in Papillion. Neighbors telling me that there was history right on their doorsteps. They uh, rushed out here as soon as they found that the president was coming to visit Lisa Martin in this house behind me, this teacher at Papillion La Vista High School who's an English teacher. Uh, it started off with just a handful of neighbors just coming uh, to, to just see what was going on after seeing a couple of streets blocked off and also seeing uh, some secret service around. And then when the president left, it was about two dozen people here. It was more than that. It was, it was definitely uh, dozens of people here and the president actually greeted some of those neighbors uh, when he initially got here he said happy new year to some and then he actually took pictures and shook hands with others in fact one of those neighbors I talked to uh, I had been speaking to before uh, the president arrived he was a veteran and he was telling asking me questions wondering what was going on in this neighborhood and he just happened to be standing at the house next door uh, to uh, just kind of again just see what was going on never expecting that he would get the chance to meet this president. And of course, they all have Lisa Martin to thank for that, this teacher from Papillion La Vista High School who at four in the morning wrote the president a letter asking him uh, for his guidance, really concerned about the future for her two-year-old son, Cooper, uh, or who was a newborn at that time, rather, and he's uh, now a one year old, excuse me, one-year-old. But uh, this Lisa Martin wrote that letter to the president, and because of that letter, the president arrived here in this neighborhood. Let's take a listen to some of that sound from the neighbors. I t told him what I do. I teach blind and visually impaired kids in the district, and he thanked me for my service, which I thought was ironic because I should have been thanking him. Just me and a few of our neighbors were up the street here, and uh, Miss President Obama pulled up and. Uh, and we started yelling at him, sort of waving, and he just walked up on his own and started talking to everybody. And then he asked me uh, where I'd been in the Air Force, and he gave me a presidential coin, so <laughs> pretty awesome. So, yes, Jack Smith went from wondering what was going on to greeting the president, taking a picture with him, and getting a presidential coin. He was speechless uh, at that honor. And a lot of the, the families here were also speechless, uh, just that the president would take the time to greet them, take pictures with them. Uh, they said that he specifically was talking to all the children first. So he took, uh, shook hands with them, talked to them, asked them their names. We actually have some really uh, great photos from some of those neighbors that got to meet with him, with him talking to a four year old girl. But Again, this is all thanks to Lisa Martin reaching out to the president. I'm sure she never imagined she'd get this honor and uh, certainly didn't expect that uh, the president would be sitting in her living room for more than 30 minutes. I wonder if they ate dinner or something. I mean, what did they do in there?